Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next episode review of Go Go Loser Ranger, episode 10. It's getting, other things are really getting more uh, heating up, or crazy, you would say. And I gotta say, that with, with D, you know, when you say, is he portray, is, did he just portray the boss monster, which he thought it was, was, which he didn't think boss monsters were alive anymore, though, but... With Patrola, that's that was that god, the so-called god's name, Patrola. But anyway, when so, well, blue after 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 Blue Keeper got through, finished torturing XX, you know, and take him to where he is, take where Patrola is, and you see him as is looking at, looking like this tree, and then all of a sudden Blue Ranger Blue Ranger starts blasting, and then all of these things starts patching, you know, and the creates basically patrol to create like all these duplicate versions of himself and in a different form now, which by the way, what patrol looks in this form looks pretty cool, cool looking design. And he starts blasting and blasting, but uh, the more it is, the more they, they, they keep coming out until he has to find the real the real one, right? But um, with uh, uh, XX finds, I guess you can uh, uh, speak it to the uh, one of them, which I don't think is I think I assume it's the real one, but then he she introduces um, Fire D in disguise, right? Fighter D, and so which he would say, oh, boss monster is a boss monster is still alive, which begs the question though, if he if Patrol is, is a boss monster that's alive, what about the other ones? Because we already we've already been established, you know, like this whole Ranger organization is crooked, right? I mean, let me see with with especially with with Red with Ra Red Ranger, especially him. Although we do, I don't see that fully in the Blue Ranger though. I mean, I get I, I get I get his meaning. You're right. He doesn't seem crazy at all. I just kind of understand where from his point of view, right? He's not full on crazy, but I understand his meaning. As for the other ones, like the green and yellow one, we're not fully established on um, what their story is, though. Except for the pink ranger, who's Hibiki's older sister, and she has little brother issues. Little brother issues. Crazy in that in that state of mind. But that's about it, though. But uh, I get, I, I be like, I would say they're not truly. The, those other ones are not truly evil, though. But. In not even not not even um, Blue Ranger though. Like I said, he yeah he's a little rough with his manners and stuff. Like just with we're talking with them, um, with his right hands, you know, saying about his manners and stuff. And then by the when by the before that leave, he's like, okay, you can talk now. And so, but I I I I, told, I, I understand I understand from his from his perspective. And so, but then with but uh, with D though. You know, saying how just all of a sudden he starts takes that that big lightsaber blaster, and just stabs like I think right through the shoulder of Patrola, right? And there and Dak is like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "Damn," you know, because you think that you think that D is is because you know since he's been with these humans for quite a while, you think that he'd be fighting for their side though, and then it betraying the boss monster and all that stuff. But the thing is though. He says that he's on nobody's side. He's only doing he's doing it for himself. He's on he's on his own side, and and then we get this whole thing, this whole his whole vision that a vision of him when he eventually does conquer the world. He want because he always wanted world domination, right? That's what was his purpose of the, for his dream, right? So we have a vision of him when he achieves his goal. You know, people are looking to him as the leader, the king, as he envisions, right? Having this dinner, fancy dinner, with those is with his um, the recruit with that he was teaming with from before, right? But when the when Petrola comes comes in, and his his com his former human comrade said, "Hey, this is what we wanted, you know, to die in this way, right?" And things start falling apart after that. Then we have a vision. He sees a vision of the real Hibiki, right? Which <laughs> Uh, we're out there. We're not gonna see him after this because it's only his vision, though. But still, he's probably you know he's still wandering in a forest with no right hand, you know. But he's saying that, he, he, which is kind of like you know plaguing on D's mind because like you want a world domination now you got it, though. So, but 
this is what the reality is. Even though you do want you achieve your goal of world domination, what happens then? You know what the whole reality is. You know everything could come crashing down after you achieve that goal. You know, and it's been like you know, it's been it's been rattling on him. So what do you want? Do you want do you still want world domination or you still want to do the right thing? You know. So, but um, yeah, it's been it's been and this has been just like weighing on his mind all this stuff. So. Yeah, he says he wants the world domination going to be either not choosing either side though. And so with Blue Ridge still um still fighting and then back with the other the other, the other uh recruits right that um they're still well the the the, the 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 junior ranks are fighting um other versions of, of Patrol 2. And the other ones though that are apart from um uh D's team, you know. They all start. They all start joining it because they they still like. Are we still do we still have the keys? Because we never heard. They never heard no bell ring. So I mean, at this point though, I think it's irrelevant because now things are in da we're in danger now because of patrol. So I think that's not the the issue we have right now. And so, <clears throat> and so we see like one uh, like a version like get to the surface of patrol and then. One is still in a hallway where all the rest of the rain and recruits and uh, D uh, still disguised as Hibiki, yes, yeah, still um, stand, stands with them, smiling to himself. So, and also one of the rec other recruits who was um, Rimuru, that was this short guy with the afro, because it's like you killed him. What'd you do? What'd you do to him? Now it makes it seem like, you know, like, maybe Rimuru... Because last time we saw him, he was, like, on the floor, bleeding. So, it looked like he was dead. And that's why XX took his took on his form, right? So, maybe, maybe Rimuru is, is still dead or not, though. So, if he's, he doesn't show up by the next episode, then I'm sure he's dead. But it's in the... Oh, is he, is, he, what, is he alive or is he dead still, though? So, but... Anyway... Um, episode 10 of Go Go, of Go Go Lose a Ranger, another great episode. Um, like I said, with, with the patrol, I do take it on a new different form, which, like I said, cool looking design. And also, there's a good, there's a good mixture of blending of 3D animation with 2D animation. Gotta mention that. It's a nice, it's a very nice, good blend where if they do 2D animation, they mix in with a bit, with a 3D. I think it looks, pr I think it looks pretty well done as well, especially when it comes to like, like shows of like with patrol and stuff like that. I found the animation once again the production is still pretty good, especially when handling the mixture of blending of 2D with 3D animation. Um, and the whole thing with just all of a sudden just D just just taking a shot at at Patrol, right? Thinking, oh, are you betraying? Are you betraying me? You know, what are you doing, right? Well, like I said, yeah, you think is is he is he betraying to be with the humans? Or just doing that as a performance, but I think as though he doesn't want, he's not either, he's not either side. He's doing it for himself. He's on his own side. He says. So, and the whole now the whole thing standing with his own with his recruiting team, right? To to stand up against um, Patrola right at the end there. So, but overall at the end, overall. It was another once again another really good episode. I really I really enjoyed it. Like this show has been also been a very unique series. I would say, a different take on a super on this on the superhero genre in general, right? Well, it's not in movies or anime, or whatever, but just different. A slightly different take on the superhero stuff. But overall, yeah, it's been a it's been a unique series, you know. Like I said, but uh, like Kaiju Number Eight has been astounding. Like I said, top tier, especially the last episode I, I reviewed, and then with. Train to the end of the world, which that's gonna be up, uploaded next. So, which I'm looking forward to the finale of that, though. It's gonna be great. But um, but anyway, but episode ten of Go Go Lose a Ranger, another thumbs up for this one. So, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode review, and we'll see you next time. Later.